I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Evan, who's curious to know my thoughts on the cinematic adaptations of Stephen King's It. Now, many of you, of course, will know Stephen King from his remarkable acting work on the film Creepshow, but you might not know that he's also the author of several stories and novels dealing with supernatural horror as well as Depression-era prisons. But his real distinction lies in having a great many of his stories adapted for the big and small screen. Indeed, I, I can think of few living writers whose work seems to be tailor-made for the cinematic age. And now, of course, we have this new film, It, based on one of his uh, rather infamous stories. But what's remarkable is that this is not the first time it's been adapted for the film. There's, there's a very famous version from the 1980s uh, starring Timothy Curry as the iconic Pennywise the Clown. Indeed, uh, the, the modern fear of clowns has often been traced to uh, this particular rendition. Although, what's fascinating about this story, both the written version and the cinematic one, is that they understand that far more frightening than clowns or giant spiders or even greasers are children with their sticky fingers and their mouths full of temporary teeth. Children will always remain one of the greatest vectors for terror ever known. So, while I have not had the opportunity to see this new film, I, I do hope it's enjoyable, and if it's not, uh, given Mr. King's current rate, uh, we should have another film of his in the next few weeks. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you. Thank you.